Well, hello, guys. You know, my ears have been funny all day for some reason. Right. Oh, there you are. Wonder where you'd slunk off to. Hello. Right. I've had the heating on because it's bloody cold today. Now I'm getting too bloody hot, so I've had to turn the heating down. Hold the window for a little while. I'm standing on my own feet and tripping myself over. Right. I really should sort this guy. There's just so many sets here that need fixing. Because clumsy ass here dropped them and broke them. The only problem is, I can't remember what the set numbers are. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, Google them and get them fixed. Did that come off the police truck? I'll presume it did, so throw it over there. That's got to go with the pothole patcher, which is up there. That's just an odd forklift truck, which I think went with that set in the bottom there. Right at the bottom left. Far left. As far left as you can go. <laughs> right. Yeah. Pump that in there for the minute. Whew. Well, I've dropped off a repeat prescription at the um, doctor's surgery. I was getting low on the blick aside. Uh, posted me letter off to the DWP, so that's all done and dust done. Uh, and grabbed a loaf of bread, and that's about what I've done today. Well, that's all I've been outside to do, anyway. Uh, had a play on free, on GTA, just free roaming for about half an hour, then got bored and turned it off. <laughs> So, yeah, I've still got that lot in that box there to sort through. That's Lego, of course. <sighs> Speaking of Lego, I guess I am using the old camera because I haven't got any batteries charged for the other one. Forgot to put them on the charge. Uh, yeah, I've got like uh, a few choices Thursday when it comes to. <laughs> when it comes to uh, purchasing Lego, um, like I said, I've got a sixty-pound budget. Um, there is a set from last year which has literally just been retired. How do you hell, Jerry? Your brakes are squeaky. Just heard Jerry go off on his motorbike, my uh, neighbour, and uh, his brakes are squeaking quite badly. I'm mm. guessing he could do us some new pads. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, I've been sort of thinking of all the options I've got. Because this set is now retired by Lego, so I can't get it from the Lego site. I've got to get it from eBay. Well, that's about the only other place, unless I search on, um, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> unless I search Bricklink and have a look on there, but I found one on there for $23.99. More than what it would have cost brand new from um, Lego, because it was a $17.99 set, but... Um, you probably think I'm mad for paying more now, but that is the thing. As soon as a set retires, the price starts creeping up. So I'd rather buy it now before it gets stupidly high. And the, the only real way you could get a cheap retired set is if you um, get one on eBay that's second hand and no box maybe no instructions, that's the only way you'll get a cheaper one. Otherwise, and this goes for all sets, you're going to have to pay through the roof if you want a boxed one. 
That's just how it goes with Lego. That's why they say it's a bigger investment now than gold. So, most of my sets have got the original instructions, so I... And because there's a lot of retired ones here, I could still get more than what I paid for them originally, if I ever decided to sell them. Um, some of the older sets I've got, maybe not so much, especially like the little single vehicles like that. You can still pick those up just for sort of four or five pounds on eBay with instructions. But um, biggest complete and bigger sets like this with instructions, you're looking minimum of sort of twenty to thirty quid. So if we take my highest estimate, that's 150 quid in total on that shelf alone. <laughs> Roughly. It all depends on the bidders as well. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't take any less than 20 quid if I was going to sell them. Actually, in fact, because I know they are complete, uh, I know at least one has got original instructions which is the Shell gas station and I think I've still got the original box for that as well so that is probably closer to 35 quid's worth there I ain't kidding the only reason I got all those cheaper on that shelf is because I bought them as incomplete that's the other way you can get a cheap set is if you buy a used one that's not complete as parts have been lost <laughs> So if you don't mind buying the one with parts missing that you know you've got, or you can get, then that's another way of getting them cheap. So, anyway, going back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, so I, I could get one set off eBay and at least two from the Lego site, but I would have to pay postage. Because I think, if I remember correctly, I will double check it, but it's usually um, to qualify for free shipping from the LEGO website you have to spend a minimum of 50 quid. 50 pounds, and I uh, don't think I could do that. I could if I was going to buy at least three sets from them, but because I want this snowplow set before the price just shoots straight up, but I guarantee in six months it'll double. In fact, I've seen someone there where people are trying to sell them for like nearly 40 quid. And it has literally only just been retired, just a couple of days ago. Like, end of December, beginning of January, so sort of like 31st 1st. Literally, that got retired. And people have already put it up on eBay for um, just under 40 pounds, actually. I saw one. Now, to me, that's a take the piss price. Like, I don't mind spending a few quid more because it is retired. So I don't mind spending the £24 for one, but cause it is, what, 17 99 if we call it £18 just to round it off. It's only like an extra fiver on top and free shipping. I did find one which was sort of a similar price but was charging, I think, four pounds something shipping so I just went with the free shipping so uh, technically I suppose I'd be getting it for um, 20 pounds if you take the shipping off because obviously the seller has priced it that way so in all I'm probably only spending an extra couple of pounds on top of the um, original price because uh, like I said the seller has still got to pay shipping but one thing they do is they price their items just right and then to attract attention they can do it as free shipping. <clears throat> um, I think I will actually go that way because I definitely want that snow plug. Uh, I never have any snow on my layouts but I still want one. <laughs> 
Um, right. I think that board. Well, someone chatting to me on Facebook, but I'll uh, get to her in a moment. We'll just finish uh, doing this segment. I'm going to have a bit more of a tidy up in here. Oh, pardon me. I am really toying with the idea of moving the PS2 into the lounge. Reason, reason being, because I've got a little cubby hole to stand these on. I don't know whether to take the... Um, I think I'll take the PS2 games out of this and just stack loosely in the lounge um, to like get some more DVD racks. Uh, when I was down the uh, recycling centre, they got um, CD racks, but not DVD racks. I don't really need CD racks because PS2, PS2, eh? PS1 games up there are perfectly fine the time being, so I might any rush for CD racks, but I do need at least one more DVD rack. But I just want to get some crap cleared off the floor, got some stuff to go in the air and cupboard. A couple more tea towels for the kitchen. Why is it I start doing that when I put the camera on? I haven't done it all day. Put the camera on and I start letting rip. Oh well, oh. They clean t shirts and they're really dirty t shirts. I'll have to smell them. The smell test. This is why I like to tolerate my own stupid smell. <laughs> I've got some t shirts in there that the cat has been lying on and I don't know if they're clean. Oh, I suppose I can just chuck them in the dirty wash anyway. No doubt they're going to be full of cat hair now. I don't know what I'm going to do with those boards in that box yet. They're from the um, server to which the um, skeletal remains are still out on the landing. Uh, I've got some boards here I want to scrap for parts. Two boards I want to keep. So there's one pair I'm scrapping for spare parts. One pair I'm keeping as is and I'm keeping one assembled. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the boards in here. Oh, there's some caps there I can rescue. Because I do believe this HP server did use quality caps. I do believe then... Yeah, Nippon... I can't remember the bloody name, is it? Nippon Chemicon or something? Nippon Chemicon? Something like that. Quality caps. I know my stepdad would probably use something like that in his model railway. Because, uh, for the lights in the carriages to stop them dimming out when the, it loses connection, they put a capacitor on the circuit that acts as a reservoir and holds the charge and keeps the uh, LEDs lit, lit even if the track gets dirty and uh, the contact isn't, um, you know, the contact gets broken. Which does happen. It's the problem with uh, model railway tracks. It does tend to attract the dirt, so it does have to be cleaned frequently, but it's got all track cleaners and everything. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disappear. I've got a lid down here to go on a tray that's under there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have a bit of a clean up in here and... Uh, I'll return. And back just for a moment. Two things. I've literally been to the loo, come back, replied to my friend, and uh, <laughs> I saw this. Just got to find the article. It's at the top, isn't it? Right. Now. As I've said before, Weatherspoons want to move into town. But they want to buy the council office building just over there. 
Now, that leaves a problem, because the current town council and a few other organisations rent the council office over there, which means they don't have anywhere to go. Now, North Norfolk District Council, in their infinite wisdom, decided they would try to buy um, an old doctor's clinic, not that far from here actually, probably, I don't know, about five minute walk, five, ten minute walk, a um, couple of minutes by bicycle, if I take a shortcut. <laughs> so yeah, it's just literally a stone's throw from here. But they won't offer what the NHS want for it. They keep offering below the property value. However, I've just seen an article on here where um, a master plan has been given the go-ahead to transform Cromer's storm-damaged prom promenade. They have, they've done the major repairs already. Uh, but this is talking about the damaged beach huts and whatnot. Um, I don't actually know the actual price they're going to put towards it, but they want to approve a further £650,000 to support phase two. Now the bit I don't understand is NNDC always claim they don't have the money for other projects such as buying a property over there so this town can have Weatherspoons move in and provide up to 50 jobs which is actually quite a lot for this small town and surrounding area. So, having Weather JD Weatherspoons move into this town is a valuable asset. But they don't want to offer full price, because they've... Fair enough, they've got to um, do some updating in the building. But the way I see it, the current building is perfectly usable as it is. So why not buy the building, move the council and other services that and organisations that use the current building in, then update it over time, as and when they've got the funds to do so. Just my opinion. But it just amazes me that they've suddenly, you know, they can find like £650,000, you know, they can just yank that out of their arse to uh, fix things in a very big tourist attraction on the Norfolk coast. I'm not saying they shouldn't, I'm just saying it's not fair that other areas have to suffer and get fed bullshit that they don't have the cash when I know for a fact they do, and yet they go and spend it, ooh, we must do this, we must do this, this, is, this brings, that's all it is, it's because Chroma brings them in shitloads of money, it's a tourist attraction, that's the only reason they spend the money there. Don't get me wrong, Chrome is an absolute lovely town, or I think it is anyway. Some people around here may not agree, but I think it's a lovely little town. If I could move back there, I would. I just don't think the council are ever fair with their spending. But, like I said, that's just my opinion. And the second thing that came to mind, there was an accident on a main road about five miles from here, the uh, A140 at the junction of the B1145, which probably means absolutely fuck all to a lot of you out there. But, um, there was a nasty accident there at about 9.25 this morning. And uh, obviously that was cleared. Four fire engines attended, which is not normal, unless it is serious. And they need the extra hands, because of Mind you, there was two cars that they had to extricate or extract casualties from, and three casualties, so that might be why they had the extra hands there, and the extra cutting gear and whatnot, just in case. But anyway, 
literally about half an hour ago I was just actually I was looking at another article on the BBC website where I am actually saw this Cromer article and uh, travel A140 closed at Alsham at 4.32 this afternoon <laughs> in pretty much the same area not the exact same spot from the sounds of it this is a little further up it actually says between the V1145 junction which is where the accident was this morning on that junction and the Banningham Road junction which is a little further up so same stretch of road literally two accidents in one day when I heard or saw another article where someone had gone off the road and crashed into a sewage pump I mean for God's sake don't anybody know how to fucking drive I mean, what they do? Bloody playing with radios, putting the fucking makeup on, wanking themselves off. They're obviously doing things other than bleeding, driving the cars. <clears throat> Apparently, that's why over here they changed it from RTA, which was road traffic accident, to RTC, road traffic collision, because in the eyes of the emergency services, no, it's never an accident because someone's always at fault nearly always at fault I won't say always because sometimes if you, something fails catastrophically on your car then you can't do stuff all about it you may end up crashing it for example a blowout and you can get blowouts with good tyres as well all you've got to do is accidentally hit a bit of debris in the road and that can pop your tyre or it could be you know a tyre with good tread but it might have a weak spot I've seen that happen where they have a weak spot. Or your brakes could be working one minute and then all of a sudden your master cylinder goes and you've got no brakes. But yeah, most of the time someone is at fault because someone wasn't looking, someone didn't see, someone was playing with something, someone was drunk, you know, there's always a reason. Which apparently is why they changed it to RTC. Which I think... Yeah, it's MVA in the, in the US, isn't it? Motor vehicle accident. I think. Do correct me if I got that wrong. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. I'm actually getting hungry. I'm going to disappear and do some work in the bedroom, and I'll be back later. Hi, guys. I'm back. And, uh, I've had a bite to eat. I've had a couple of uh, egg bites. I've uh, been busy in the bedroom and I've been busy in here. Which I think, as I'm already in the lounge, I'll start in here and I'll show you what I've been up to. Okie dokie. I have brought the PS2 through. And I've decided I might as well bring the PS1 as well. I don't know if that's going to work on this TV. But, I don't know if either of them are going to work, but let's turn the TV on. Is there a game in it? No, there isn't. I'll still turn it on. Right. So now, if I go to Source, and I go down... No, I'll just hit the program. <laughs> Arrow buttons, that's what I want. So, what is this one? Ah! Ooh! The PS2, PS1 actually works. It didn't want to work on my old, um, on my old TV. So, in that case, Put the PS2 on. That should be under AV then. Should we just let that switch? Yep. And I could still go ahead and plug in the PS4 as well because I've still got one HDMI port on the back of this. <laughs> okay. 
turn that off, turn that off. I saw what and I just want to make sure they were working. Good. We're all kitted up and ready to go. And, uh, I've bought some PlayStation 1 games in. I haven't got the room to put them all on there, so... Uh, find a home for the CDs, really. I'll find somewhere just to tuck those. I might, if there's any there, when I next go down the recycle centre, I may grab um, a CD rack to put those in. Right. And we've got somewhere in here, at least. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've swapped the uh, Mega Drive and the um, Freestat box around as well. Just because that sits on the top here better. So I'm yep. <coughs> well, that's just done that the world of good, hasn't it? It's not broken. I hope. Alright. PC games. Check. There's some crap off here. Soon to be check. La -da -da -da. Ah, those cheat books can go through the other room. These can go through to the other room. Uh, as can the iToy camera. I do believe I've got an iToy game. I think. I've got so many PS2 games there, I can't remember what I have and haven't got. Anyway, I can go there. Bunch of PlayStation 1 memory cards, all of one megabyte each. That was big memory back when that was released. Right, I think everything else on here, that's the adapter for my doodah. My, um,. Two of these on there, where'd the other one now go? Well, that's weird. Ah, it's on the floor. I need to jump down there. Right. Take the cheat box through. Handy things to have. 12,000 PlayStation 2 cheats. And a complete guide to Hitman contracts. That's alright then. I've got a Hitman contract. Uh, update every PS2 cheat ever. Hmm. Lay those down there. Take that bloody thing through the kitchen. Right. I do believe I've got some... Oh, that's the game I've wanted to play since it's hit and run. Chuck the old egg box in the recycling. Yeah, I need a new mop head. My one's sort of disintegrated. <laughs> ah. The chair. The chair can I return to gaming corner? Eh. Oops. Well. I suppose in the future I might as well get the PlayStation 4 to make it a complete set. I've got the 1, the 2, and the 3. <laughs> I might as well go ahead and make it the full house. That won't be for a while though, if, I, if and when I do get a PS4. Probably won't be for a very long time. What black cable is that hanging there? Oh, it's the eye toy in them. Duh. Oh. Right, I'm seeing these down now, I want to sort out. In fact, I could probably do away with all these CDs and just put it onto the PC when I'm ready. Uh, oh, you have woke up. Worse snoring your head off in the bloody box. Now that I've emptied his box out. 
I wonder why that wouldn't work. All the screen was all flickering. There must have been either something wrong with the TV that didn't like the PS1 signal or something else. But then again, it did it on SCART as well. At least I think I did it on, it did it on SCART. I think I tried the SCART socket. That's what that's uh, going through. I've got the little um, SCAR adapter that you plug your RCA cable into. Uh, right. I'm not sure what I'm going to be getting up to this evening. I'm not about to go lock up. Uh, still in a leggy mood, so I may build something. Anyway, I'll be back later. Alright, I'll just put the oven on to put a pizza in because I'm getting hungry again. Uh, on a bit of remodelling on the bungalow after I dropped it on the floor and smashed it to smithereens. I picked it up from the roof several times before and the roof stayed on, but I went to pick it up from this shelf to go over to there and the roof came off. So I'm left standing there holding the roof while the rest of it is on the floor in pieces. <laughs> That's the joys of Lego. This is well it goes back together and I can figure out which part went where because it broke off in chunks mostly. Um, thankfully. <laughs> I bet Nemo will want some food soon. So I'll do him once I've got pizza in the oven. Uh, I'll do a separate video on this um, after I've done this one. I actually don't know which console I want to play on now. I'm in the mood for playing a game, but I'm not sure which. I might play a bit of Free Roam on uh, GTA. And uh, I do need GTA 4. If I can get GTA 4, I will then officially have every GTA game ever released. That's the only one I'm missing. So that's a definite one I'm going to get. So, may not spend as much on the LEGO website this Thursday as I'd like. Cause I would like to go into Black Records because he's got a box of PlayStation 3 games, so I don't mind seeing if he's actually got GTA 4 hidden in there. He might have. Who knows? If he has, then. And that's a, a decent price. I might get it to complete the collection. Um, you might as well. I've got all the others. I've got them all for the PS1 and the PS2. I just need PS4. Um, GTA 4, rather, not PS4. But I do need a PS4 because then that will complete all four consoles. <laughs> now, like I said earlier, I might as well go for the full house and uh, have them all. Uh, is there anything I want to do in the bedroom tonight? Maybe there. I don't think so, actually. Uh, nope. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Well, I could sort the stacks of games out. Well, that's what I was going to do. I need to find a home for those CDs. I wonder where I could put them. Where can I put them? I'd like them that end of the room, because that's where the, uh, the, um, CD player is. Uh, I could stack some on that, but those shelves aren't very deep. I was just thinking of, uh, moving those three Lego models off of there and, uh, putting them on there, but I can see them just toppling off, so... Probably a bad idea. Um, 
I was thinking of moving all my squirrels into the bedroom as well, so I had more room to put Lego on the window ledge. But it'll be in sunlight, so that's not a good idea either. But I suppose I could have a shuffle around and just stack the CDs on there for the time being. So I get a CD rack to put in the corner. Nope. This one's not level. Go back a smidge. There we go. Oh. Yeah, my choice of so many consoles. I've got nothing against other consoles, I've just never had the chance to go buy one, to be honest. I had an Xbox, the first one, at one point, but that was dead. It was given to me anyway, but that was knackered. If I could find one, you know, at a decent price, and any other old console, to be honest, you know, I'm not fussed. Sure. I'd have an Xbox, Xbox 360. But, oh, well, that reminds me. I was actually wondering, because uh, I find trying to aim a gun or drive it with things is awkward. I so prefer playing shooting games on the PC because I've got the most to aim with. And I find I can be a bit more, or a lot more precise, aiming with a mouse than I can with those analog sticks. So I was actually wondering, because I know Xbox controllers have them as well, actually I know most controllers these days have them. Are they better on the Xbox than the PlayStation, or are they both the same? I've never really um, paid much attention. I have played on a 360 a few times, but like I said, I never really paid that much attention. Perhaps I should have done. You know, I just wonder, do they react the same? Do 360 react better than the PlayStation? Mm hmm. <laughs> if anyone knows, and let me know. Uh, that reminds me, I want a wired Xbox 360 controller. So I can use it on my PCs. Um, I have got a USB controller, but it doesn't have um, little thumbsticks, analog sticks. Um, so at some point I am going to get one of them. I will, if I remember, have a look on eBay later. I know um, Black Records had one in and he wanted 15 quid for it, which I thought was a bit pricey for a second hand one. I don't know, I don't know what they're worth, it just seems a bit pricey to me. They're sold now anyway, so maybe it wasn't. <laughs> um, look at <laughs> Poor cat, he was actually wandering around there, trying to decide what to jump on. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Oh no, it didn't happen. My base plates hang over that back edge a lot more than this one. No, I know why you wanted to get up there. And you ain't doing it, because you're going to walk straight across. On the outside. And come in the bedroom. That's a summer thing. As long as you don't fall off the bleeding window ledge again. You break it, you fix it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call it quits, I think. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to go and get a pizza. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. If you didn't dislike it, it's up to you. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk to you again soon.